بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل ول بی فائن ان کلاس ففتھ اور یونٹ نمبر تھری از فریکشنس سو وی ہیو ٹو ڈسکس فرسٹ پارٹ آف دس یونٹ اسٹوڈنٹس ڈو یو ریمبر وٹ اے فریکشن از اے فریکشن شوز ٹو ایکول پارٹس آف اے ہول اٹ از میڈ اپ آف ٹو نمبر سیپریٹیڈ بائی اے لائن دا نمبر ابو دا لائن از کالڈ نیومیریٹر دا نمبر بلو دا لائن از کالڈ ڈی نامیٹر سو ہیئر وی ہیو این ایگزامپل دیٹ از تھری بائی فائیو دا نمبر ابو دی لائن دیٹ از تھری از کالڈ نیومیریٹر اینڈ دا نمبر بلو دی لائن دیٹ از فائیو از کالڈ دا ٹی نامیٹر ناؤ ٹائپس آف فریکشن دا فرسٹ ون از لائک فریکشن اسٹوڈنٹس two or more fractions with same denominators are called like fractions when we have two fractions uh, like in this example we have two fractions that are 1 by 8 and 3 by 8 the denominator of both fractions is same that is 8 so both fractions are called like fractions number 2 is unlike fractions two or more fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions In this example, we have two fractions that is one by eight and four by ten. But the both, but the both fractions have different denominators. One have eight, and the second one is ten. So the different, uh, so the according to different denominators, this is called unlike frac fractions. Third one is proper fraction. What is a proper fraction? A fraction in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator is called a proper fraction. For example, four by seven and three by ten are proper fractions because their deno denominators are greater than the numerators. Number four type is improper fraction. A fraction with numerator greater than or equal to the denominator is called an improper fraction. The example is. 11 by 6 and 3 by 3 are improper fractions in first example 11 by 6 the denominator is smaller than the numerator and in the second example both are equal so these are called improper fraction the last type of fraction we have to discuss here is mixed fraction students so, when a fraction is written as a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction it is called a mixed fraction means we have a combination of two values the first one is whole number and the second one is proper fraction in this example 4 whole 1 by 2 the 4 is the whole number part and 1 by 2 is the proper fraction part so these two parts mixed together and make a mixed fraction addition of fraction example add the following fractions we have two fraction students first one is 2 whole 3 by 7 plus second one is 4 whole 4 by 21 first we have to convert our mixed fraction into improper fraction that we already learned in class 4th so the answer of first fraction is 17 by 7 and the answer of second fraction is 88 by 21 now in addition of two fractions where denominators are different we have to take the lcm of 7 and 21 that is 21 after taking lcm our numerators will be changed 17 multiplied by 3 and 88 multiplied by 1 so the next step, in next step 17 3s are 51 plus 88 1s are 88 the denominator will be same now add 51 plus 88 the answer will be 139 and the denominator is same now again we have to convert our fraction improper fraction into a mixed fraction because the answer question is given in mixed fraction the next concept we have to discuss here is subtraction of fraction example subtract the following uh, fractions first one is 3 whole 1 by 5 and minus 2 whole 2 by 15 is the second fraction again we have to convert our mixed fraction into improper fractions the answer of first fraction is 16 by 5 and the 
answer of second fraction is 32 by 15 now again we have to take the LCM of 5 and 15 that is 15 our numerators will be changed 16 multiplied by 3 and 32 multiplied by 1 so 16 3s are 48 and 32 1s are 32 now here we have to subtract them the answer will be 16 by 15 after converting it into mixed fraction we got the answer 1 whole 1 by 15 I hope you all will understand these concepts so students try to practice your exercise number 3a in which your question number 1 2 3 is objective and question number 4 part D to F and question number 5 part D to F is for practice from your school notes and also do the practice of word problem question number 1 2 and 3 thank you